6 o'clock, a battle involving one of the state's most successful and sought-after charter schools. Some families are raising questions about the school's so-called melting pot approach that they say does not celebrate diversity. Now, the state has also weighed in, potentially putting the school's right to operate in jeopardy. Our chief investigator, Cheryl Fiandaka, went to the school to dig into this controversy on race and education. is an action. It's hard to argue with Mystic Valley Regional Charter School's academic success. With high test scores and graduation rates, it's ranked one of the best in the country. There's a lot of commonality between what the students are learning. As a school of choice, you know, and this speaks to the mission and the charter of the school as well, um, we as a school, consistent with what we see out of the founding documents of the country, the Declaration and the, and the U.S. Constitution, those core tenets of our country are to celebrate commonality. We are a great melting pot as a school. Chemistry notebook. But former student Thora Henry, who now attends Malden High, says that mission to treat everyone the same and not embrace cultural differences is out of date and racist. It does put a damper on your um, self-esteem. Yeah, their test scores are great, but was it a good school for kids' mental well-being? Was it a good school for their physical well-being, their emotional well-being? And I've came to the conclusion personally that it is not, not for me. I do not miss it. Controversy involving race at Mystic Valley dates back to 2017. Let them learn! When Maya and Deanna Cook came to school with braided hair extensions and were told to take them out. I felt really upset. I, I got choked up. I was like, is this really happening right now? I mean, I'm just trying to learn. I'm just trying to go to class. The school, which is majority minority, requires uniforms and has a strict dress code. It backed down after the attorney general found the policy was discriminatory. We're not all the same, so trying to push everybody to be the same is not okay. It's time for Mystic Valley to kind of move forward and start including people and accepting people and just enough of this monoculture that they want to push them everyone. It's not working. Charter schools are funded with public money but are privately run. The Department of Elementary and Secondary Education oversees the schools and in recent years included a category of cultural responsiveness or proficiency as a criteria for performance. Recently, the state found Mystic Valley only partially met that standard, potentially putting the school's future in jeopardy. Families are literally pounding down the doors to get into the school and 20 years into this incredibly successful program the commonwealth of massachusetts has come along and said you know what forget your laser focus on academics and how well you're doing we want you to teach cultural proficiency whatever that means. Mystic Valley is now challenging that cultural proficiency criteria and has filed a lawsuit against the state. Obtaining emails that they say show state employees working with critics began a campaign to discredit the school. Come on, bestie. Eric Henry says he initially supported Mystic Valley but pulled his triplets out after questioning the culture and the curriculum. It started off in fifth grade with Mark Twain, but it continued. Eighth and ninth grade, there were other readings that they had that also used in words and things of this nature. But other parents, like Rosanna Alves, say the school isn't racist and believes a good education is the best way to level the playing field for people of color. The kids are, like, learning. That's what matters for me, honestly. I'm very happy with the school. The school's charter is up for renewal in 2023. As for the pending lawsuit, the state tells us it does not comment on pending litigation. Cheryl Fiandaka, WBZ News. Breaking now.